four, three, two. I'm John, and tonight I want answers about the war on Christmas. There's no stopping me now. There's no stopping us now, because we're live. John wants answers. Check your calendar. If it says December 12th, 2013, then we're live. Ho, ho, ho. It's the most festive month of the year. And it's the last sense. show of 2013. I'm not, I'm never particularly festive in December. No? No. You have the hat that gives people yeah, the impression. Just keep my head warm. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, in January, you don't wear that it's anymore. It's freaking cold out. It's, we're having a cold snap now. We are, we are. It's, I blame Al Gore. You know, it's so cold outside, I was walking through the park on the way here, and, and, and swear to God, I saw a squirrel putting a blanket on his nuts. I was expecting you're, more laughter. You're no letterman. <laughs> yeah. Um, my guest tonight is Keith Statenfield. He's a host of Keith Explains. It's a great show on this station. It is, although you've never seen it. No, you've never seen no, it. No, I've never seen it. There's um, no recent ones. It's on Wednesdays, Wednesdays at 8.30. It is. But they're probably six months old now. You're my guest tonight because you're a news junkie. Yes. History buff. Yes. And you are in the army against Christmas. Yes. Okay. If you've never seen the show before, and this haven't. is like a courtroom drama. It's not. I'm the prosecutor. It's not. My guest is an expert witness. Yes. Yeah. Well, expert, yes. Witness, no. And you at home are the jury and in the studio. And it's your job to convict or acquit the topic. It's your job to change the channel, for God's sakes. What's that? It's your job to change the channel. Change the channel? Yeah. Away from Matt this? Matlock is on, people. Matlock is on. This is real life Matlock. We'll be taking your tweets tonight. You can tweet us at John Wants Answer. There's no S on the end because the S is for suck and we don't. Not well, anymore. Not since we got that cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tweet us, and we'll take your messages later in the show, and we'll debate with you about the topic, the case. All right. And if you don't like Twitter, Who ever does? since they IPO'd, they, they've sold out. They, they have. have sold out. If you don't like Twitter, go to johnwantsanswers.com. There's a link right there, right there at the top of the page for don't contact. Try, don't try clicking on your TV screen, people. It no. doesn't work. Unless you have web TV. I don't think even that it works. You think it even works anymore? I think if they shut had, Web TV down. If you had a Web TV box, would it work? You think? No, they shut it down. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, go there, click contact, and you can send us a message without using Twitter. And we'll read it on the air and we'll talk about it. Behind the scenes, does it use Twitter? No. That'd be funny if you had like a, a message to Twitter gateway. You could be rich. You could IPO. You could IPO. Yeah. 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 It's a PHP script. Man, don't, don't get fancy. <laughs> this show, you know, a lot of things we, we couldn't do the show without. And one of them is the continued generosity of our executive producers, Lisa Tamaki, Tamaki. and Brian Westpafal. Westpafal. Yeah, they, they pull through every month. Wow. And every month I think, wow, that show sucked. They're not going they're to not continue gonna, doing they're this. They're not going to keep doing this. But they this. keep coming through. Bad, poor decision making on they their part. They keep pulling through. Yeah. All right. What, what, what dirt do you have on them? I've, I've always wondered. Much of this movie. Funny called... story. We're live. So anything you say. <laughs> I think he thinks I have dirt on him, but I don't. Wow. <laughs> now we... it's, it's like a your own personal the wrong guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. Um, okay. So our first case, John versus the war on Christmas. <laughs> There's like a, a ghost. There is. There living is. in the apartment. There's a little, there's a little bit of us. an echo there at the end. And, and it was, every time I do the show, he plays piano yeah. really loud. Today, I think like, he threw a little bit of Christmas cheer into it. Yeah. We're going to talk about the war on Christmas. Is this really a war or yeah. merely no, a military no, maneuver? No, it, it's. Wars are declared by Congress. Uh huh. Congress hasn't declared war since like 1941. But didn't Congress put into the Constitution the separation of church and state? No, no, actually, it's not in Christmas. the Constitution. Uh, First Amendment. 
No, no, no. Right? The separation First Amendment of is... And, church and state. Separation of church and state is, is in a letter from Jefferson to a pastor. No, I'm sure it's in the Constitution. Well, you, and the, you and the Supreme Court would have, <laughs> have vague words. Okay. And there's no establishment of a religion. Right. Um, so we have a bunch of holidays in the course of like six yeah, weeks. They're not, and they're, we have too many. They're not spread out well. We have, uh, it begins with Thanksgiving. Canadian Thanksgiving. Well, uh, sure. Then we have um, Black Friday. Which it's barely, it's not, not, really a holiday. A holiday. not a holiday. It's not a holiday. You get off work and you do stuff. We have Hanukkah. Am I saying it right? Is there a H in it? Hanukkah? I'm not going to try. Okay. You, you had a guest a couple shows ago who could answer that. Yeah, right? I should have asked that then. Yeah. Um, then we have Winter Solstice. Yes. We not have uh, technically a holiday, more well, of an you know, astronomical event. Well, the, the pagans, they really celebrated that thing. They threw wild parties. That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we have Christmas. Yes. We have Boxing Day right after that. No, no, Canadians have Boxing Day. Well, I'm just listing you know, holidays around the world here. We have Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Which is an American American thing. invented holiday, yeah. yeah. And then we have New Year's Day. And then we have the day and, we had kicked down New our... New Year's Eve. Well, yeah. And I'm, you forgot the whole 12 I didn't days do all the eves. I didn't do all the eves. There's New Year's Eve, there's Christmas Eve. The 12 days... You did Thanksgiving. I mean, that's like Black Friday Eve. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, okay. So we have a lot of holidays. Too many. Too many people. And now the war on Christmas, as I understand it, is because people might say happy holidays or they might say season's greetings instead of Merry Christmas. Yes. Like how dare you mention any other holiday but the one we like, Merry Christmas. Pretty much, yeah. I know when I was growing up, we used to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah. I don't know why the Christmas had to be Merry and the New Year had to be Happy. Like, well, well, try, can, try saying the other way. Happy Did Christmas and Merry New Year. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's just as good. Um, is this a real thing or is this uh, something that bugs Bill O'Reilly? Yes. Every yes. year they show a clip of Bill O'Reilly going on about Christmas. Yes. And Sarah Palin. You heard too? She wrote a book. About Christmas? Oh, about the, the war, war on Christmas. On yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, all, all the news I see is from The Daily Show. Well, of course. So yeah. imagine, you know, because they you, show they work. You, you, you should get a newspaper. Prince is dead. New York Times has a deal. <laughs> you can get it online. You can get it online. No, New York Times you got to pay for. That's what I mean. There's a deal. It's like eight bucks a month. That's eight dollars more than I pay for Yahoo News. Which is okay. <laughs> Thanks, Marissa. Um, so it's just uh, Bill and Sarah. Others, yeah, there's yeah. lots of people. Is it, is it a big thing, or is no, it two no, people making it's made it up. a big it's, thing? It's, it's, made up? it's an invented outrage. Because people are saying these things. People say happy holidays and season's greetings to be culturally sensitive. Okay, let's say, let's say you're Jewish. And, and because people start saying it like November 26th, and it seems crazy to be wishing people Merry Christmas when it's, it's like a 30 away. days away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, let's say you're Jewish. You know, Mazel Let's tov, say I am. That. And nice bris, whatever. Um, and if I said Merry Christmas to you, well, that, that would, that's not, it, 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 it doesn't, doesn't match doesn't do me a bit of good. No, no. No. If I say Because I'm not going to have a Merry it, Christmas. No, you're not. You're going to be eating Chinese food. I'm going to go out for Chinese food and see And you're going to watch a movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, actually, I've done that on Christmas, and I'm not Jewish. So maybe no. that's not actually the way Jews observe Christmas. From the Jews I know, that seems pretty typical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think actually uh, there's signs in the windows of Christmas restaurants saying, we don't know why, but thank you, the Jews, for coming to us. For coming year. to us, yeah. 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 Um, so we, as a Jew, we're, we're pretending you're a Jew now. Are you offended that I say Merry Christmas? Or would you be offended that I say Happy Holidays? Because it kind of covers your... It, it, it does. <sighs> there's also Season's Greetings. Yeah, I got that. Season's which Greetings, Which intends yeah. to cover the whole yeah. thing. So are we being bad to Jesus for not... I don't, him I don't think he'll mind. He's a very forgiving guy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. I've heard that about him. Yeah. So Christmas is the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. It's a celebration of the birth, but it's not actually held on the anniversary of his birth. Almost certainly not. Yeah. So scholars, biblical scholars, you yeah. know lots about Bibles and stuff, say 
And They're not sure when he was born. And non-biblical ones. Probably June, maybe March. April. I've heard April. I heard a lot of that. Yeah, April, sure. Yeah. Because here's some here's some some facts. Here's some facts, man. Facts. Um so in the Bible, shepherds were tending to their flocks at night. Yes. In December, they don't do that. That might be more in the song. In than December, in the Bible. they are indoors because it rains and it's too cold. Yeah, well, what about the sheep? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's too cool. yeah, for them it's too cold and wet. What, they bring the sheep indoors? Oh, like a barn. Not like, not like inside their house, but like, you know. If you were a shepherd and you had a barn, why wouldn't you keep your sheep in the barn every day? I mean, I like that. I'm not a shepherd. I couldn't answer that. Yeah. Uh, so Joseph. Joseph. The not father of Jesus. Let's, but let's not the, offend our viewers. The dude dating Mary. Husband. Um, husband of Mary. Were they married? Were they married? That, I believe, is pretty firmly established husband. in the okay. literature. Um, then why is she a virgin? If they're married... They didn't have to. Um, bad away. sex ed in the very, very early years. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, he knew what it was because he'd been married before. Really? Yeah. Oh, she that's... was his second. She was his wow. second wife. Wow. Are you making this up? No, I we'll think get, I am. We'll get I letters. Think, I think that's a fact. Um, anyways, long story short, too late. Um, He's, Joseph is going back somewhere for the Roman census. The Roman census. Which does not happen in December. Never happened in December. No, Usually it happened, happened in, in December. like March and April. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, you don't want to travel. In December, you could die in the cold or something. Well, People die in colds it, back It's then. in Israel. I mean. That's where it gets cold in winter. No. No, it doesn't. So this is what I've, I've, I've read. I've researched this last night. Wow. Did it involve Wikipedia? Yes. Because that thing's riddled <laughs> with errors. So the Catholic Church... They say, we want to have a date where we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Celebrate it. It's not the anniversary, like his birthday. Go celebrate it. And they go, when can we pick? And they're like, you know, this holiday the pagans have is bothering us. The pagans have this holiday winter solstice that they go crazy about. And they're pagans. We don't like them. So you want to get rid of that holiday. And what better way to get rid of it than by replacing it with our better one? So they said, Christmas... December 25th. So we'll displace all these pagans in their December 21st holiday. Which actually they celebrate on December 25th because they didn't have the instruments like we do today. So they noticed the day's getting longer four days after they actually started getting longer. Wow. Wikipedia is riddled with errors. People. You don't believe this? <laughs> which, which part of this Well, do you so think first of all, right, at the time you're talking, two, three hundred years after the death of Christ. Yeah. The Christian church, the leadership was, it was the Roman Christian, Roman Catholic church, right? Because mm -hmm. they had taken over and many Romans and Roman government had in fact become Christians. You know, the, the emperor of Rome was a Christian. Romans celebrated Saturnalia. So they didn't call it a pagan holiday. They called it our holiday. Saturnalia, which happened at the solstice in honor of the god Saturn, mm -hmm. and they, you know, replaced the god. But that said, I mean, Christmas was never a huge holiday on the scope of Easter mm -hmm. for, you know, until pretty recently. And I think if we hadn't gotten the notion of giving your family presents and then lots of presents and then huge numbers of presents, that Christmas would still be nowhere near as big of a holiday as it is today. Mm -hmm. so when they, you go back 200 years, they may have celebrated Christmas, but it's one of those things that, you know, you put the decorations up three days before and you take them down two days after. There's none of this, you know, it turns into a two-month-long thing. I think when they secularized it, it got big. It like did, yeah. The gift-giving and the trees and the Santas. And, and, and the and stores the, want a theme to put their decorations around. And the, th the stores want... Stores want money. Well, they want a reason to encourage people to buy more things. Uh -huh. And it doesn't hurt that it's near the end of what is many stores' fiscal year, because mm -hmm. if you can squeeze in a couple more sales yeah. this year, it looks yeah. better than next year. There you go. Um, so my take from, from this yes. was uh, there is not a war on Christmas. Christmas was actually a war on winter solstice. Wow. That's really what's happening. It's a war on winter solstice. Because now no one celebrates it. Which is really on the tilt so of the earth. So I guess they kind of won. It's a war on tilt. 
21 and a half degrees. Well, we're on the celebration of the tilt. And in pinball, that's bad. You don't yeah, wanna, you don't yeah. tilting tilt. is bad. Tilting is bad. That's what I remember from off. that song. Poor what? little deaf, dumb, blind boy. Pinball wizard? Yeah. Is that boy a deaf, deaf dumb, and blind boy? How could he, if he's deaf and blind? He's a pinball how wizard. How could he, how could, how is that possible? A pinball wizard. Um, all right. Well, that's our half point. Uh, we got to go for a break now. When we come back, we're going to take your tweets and your text messages and emails. My so, phone's been going crazy. Yeah. So, see you soon. Okay. Man, who's, like, I'm getting all these what messages. What are you doing for the holidays, man? I'm, I'm driving up and down El Camino. Isn't that New Year's? No, no, that's Christmas. That's Christmas. New Year's, I have no plans. Yeah. You say your phone's going off. I thought your phone's supposed to be in airplane mode. Yeah, but the, it is, but Wi-Fi's on. I mean, uh, no, my my phone is not in airplane mode. So what? But uh, that said, it was it was only two messages, and actually, I'm no watching the show. I, I Where did you get that hat? Yeah, you look cute in that hat. There. Where did you get that hat? Your hat is too funny. Because they know they know better than to watch. Wikipedia is written with errors. Riddled with errors. <laughs> Who's that guy? He's boring. I mean, I shouldn't have read that out loud. <laughs> it could have been talking about me. You should have me on the show. You look adorable. Cit adorable. Cit citric. Yeah, I don't know what this person's saying. Do we have any 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 you messages? Gotta keep, you gotta stop getting texts from the prison, John. Any useful <laughs> tweets? Especially the women's prison. Especially the women's prison. Um, to a weird place. Oh, I know. We have some likes. Kevin Poe from work likes the photo I was in. And Jeannie likes the photo I was in. Um, I got to press on Safari. Look what I brought this month. Look what I brought. What is that? Earthquake? Is a canned earthquake in here? Whoa, canned earthquake. Whoa. Yeah. It's, still, it's still going. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, John, since we're on, since we're on break, um, your, your, doctor, your doctor called while you're on break. Yeah? Tests are negative. Oh. Tests are negative. We're My side. doctor actually, actually did call it today. But, but the rash will clear up yeah. with, with ointment. Oh, we got someone tweeted a picture of... Uh, of us, let me see what it looks like. Hey, there's a. Why is there a picture of a cat? I'm being tweeted to us. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a cute cat. It's a nice cat. As cats go. I mean, and the one on the left is also nice. <laughs> <laughs> and my phone's exploding. Okay, we have. Uh, I have to read my emails. Okay. This thing forever, man. I got so many ways to contact me that it's going yeah. crazy. Mystery man. Do you do you make any money from these commercials that are running right now? <laughs> They're PSAs. We are recording while we're here. Let's record them while we're here. Um, PSA on don't do drugs. Look at the camera. Don't do drugs, kids. I'm John from John Wants Answers. And let me tell you, we couldn't have got to where we are today if we did drugs. Because drugs screw you up. Now, we're nerds, you know. True. Nerds. We don't have that experience you get from drugs no we don't but our life is together it is we're hip people if you want your life to be together we're loved when, when you say together you mean with each other no 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 <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that i mean the there more, is now because that hat just yeah. totally does nothing for me the but more you know i think that's trademarked i think it is I a think now nbc is going to sue you wow oh coming back in Five, four, three, two. Hi, and we're back. And we've got lots of tweets and messages to share with you today. We have a message from Mystery Man. Who Mystery went Man. He went to the website and talked to us. There was a fourth wise man. He turned away because he bought a fruitcake. He was turned away because he bought he a did. fruitcake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did, yeah. We're getting a lot of tweets here. Um, let me uh, read some tweets. Wait, how do I do this? How do I use this? I got to click that. Click there. Click there. Um, That's a lot of clicking. Where did you get that hat? This hat is slightly stolen. Um, slightly stolen? Well, not from a store. Um, my, my wife got it, and then she uh, stopped using it because I kept using it instead. So that's how it worked. Um, I think I think in a community property state that <laughs> that's not stealing. That's it's, not technically theft. It's my hat. My hat's too funny. Uh, Wikipedia is written with errors. Um, I think we've errors. figured yes. that out. 
Who is that guy? He's boring. That's Key Statenfield. Key Statenfield. <laughs> yes. Um, at Staten F on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to kill you. I should call the authorities about this one. You should. Uh, you know, she does love the hat, and I am too funny, and we are not hip people. We are not. Um, yeah, so that's... How did... That's a lot of... How did she there. hear us saying we were hip people? We were in break. Did we say, did we, say we were hip? I think we did. Remember when we were doing that PSA? I remember doing the PSA. I remember saying we yeah, were nerds. I said, if I recall, I said we're nerds, not hip. Yeah. Anyways, back to the show. Back to the show. Um, and the skirmish on Christmas. So today's Christmas isn't that... Undeclared war on Christmas. The, uh, Undeclared war? Is it a military operation? Uh, yeah. 30 day, we have 90 days to finish it off before Congress has to vote on it? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So Christmas today is not much about Christ. I mean, there's a, yeah, sort of love. Well, it depends you on who you are. You could easily divide it. Depends on who you are. Christmas trees, not Christ. Not terribly, no. Exchanging gifts, not Christ. The wise men. The wise men gave him gifts? Well, I'm not giving gifts Joseph to, and to Mary. Jesus. I'm giving gifts to, you know, the people I mean, who... I, I guess they together. brought the gifts for him because they realized, being wise men, that he, he was myrrh. the Messiah. He needed some myrrh. And therefore would, would eventually be king of all men on earth. Uh, Santa? Uh, eggnog? Not, not, uh, not snowflakes? Not Christian. Uh, no, certainly snowflakes are not Christian. It's just precipitation. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all. So, secularists, like Rudolph, myself. Reindeers? Yeah. No, no, not. You can celebrate Christmas without any, any Christ being involved. Um, so, let me talk about some of the other holidays. We have a Boxing Day. No one really knows what Boxing Day is. There's lore. Especially Americans. Especially American. It's a mostly like a Commonwealth holiday. It's like Australian celebrating. You've got to put British. holiday in quotes. Yeah? Yeah. Holi holiday? It's the day after Christmas. Or the weekend after Christmas, right? In Canada, this, I grew up in Canada, at least when I left not that long ago, 18 years ago. And you know you're old when you say not that long ago, 18 years ago. Yeah. Boxing Day, it was a real holiday and stores were not allowed to be open. Wow. But it was the biggest shopping day of the year. Man. So the stores Canadians were open. are terrible at following the law. <laughs> The stores would open because it had such huge sales. Yes. They would go shopping. The police would come by and fine all the stores. Yes. But of course, the money they made off the sale was so bigger than the fine. Yeah. That they would keep doing so it. So it was win win for the government and the stores. Yeah. Wow. But they stopped doing that. They stopped doing the fines. Now it's totally legal. So. Um, That's, that sounds like a bad deal for the government. <laughs> In the old days, I think. I mean, it used to be win win. Now it's win lose. Now it's win nothing, not win lose. Yeah. I heard a Boxing Day was all about employers giving their servants or employees little boxes of... Yeah, like the Christmas box. Of whatnot. I heard yeah. what it was called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that doesn't happen anymore. No. Um, so we have the, uh, the Boxing Day sale in Canada because you don't have Canada. a Black Friday. Because our Thanksgiving, which we have one of those, that's in October. Or September. It's way too Sometimes soon. Sometimes it's in August, I think. No, no, it's October. And it's way too soon to be buying Christmas gifts. Back in, I don't know, October, I guess. Oh, okay. So, um, you've, you've obviously never seen Kickstarter. <laughs> Why is that? All I'm am saying I, is, am I getting something all I'm saying is, <laughs> to a lot of my friends, I'm sorry you're not going to get your present until like February because <laughs> Kickstarter slipped and there's nothing you can do about it. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. I got, I don't like New Year's Day. Because it seems just so arbitrary. You're just changing the calendar and that's it. And it's not, nothing's really changed. And uh, New Year's this, 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 is, this is what bothers you about New Year's Day. Most that there's an arbitrary day when we've decided to change the calendar. Well, I know changing the calendar is not arbitrary. It's, it's arbitrary that we just celebrate it for no good reason. No, no, we celebrate it because everyone's hung over. <laughs> from, from, from the New, new Year's, Year's Eve, Eve party. But... But that was the year before. You can't blame that on the next year. But everyone's hung over, so no one wanted to go to work. New Year's resolutions are designed to fail. And I'll tell you why. Because if you really wanted to change something about your life, if you really wanted to change about your life, you would just do it. If it's a New Year's resolution, you're procrastinating already. It has procrastination built in. And if you're not serious enough about it to not procrastinate, it's not going to work. So do your resolution right now. That's my advice to you. I was getting real wow. with the audience. Wow. I was, yeah. 
I, I have one New Year's resolution every year. Did you ever start writing the next year on the checks? And sometimes you don't. You fail, and I right? can't do that now. Oh, oh crap! Crap! The 1906 earthquake. You, you started up again. Oh, it's not 1906. No. Which one's this, this one? Is, this 1989. Is, uh, this is some bottled 1972. 72 from Southern California. No, it says it's San Francisco on the front cover. No, oh, that's just yeah. That's, that's just marketing. It's the picture. <laughs> I don't recall a 72 they earthquake. They didn't think to put in the earthquake in cans in 1906. For God's sakes, they were too busy recovering. They were, and the canneries were all busy with the, uh, the smelt in the, in the whatever yes. they have in the bay. Smelt. That's what they have? Yeah. Good well, not anymore. <laughs> it's all gone now. It, bay fish is all full of mercury. Yes. You know that San Jose had one of the biggest... Um, mercury capitals of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah they had a yeah. big mine. So I, that's why the newspaper's called the San Jose Mercury News. I know. I, yeah. know. I just learned that, like on PBS. Like, wow. Like a month ago. PBS. You, you should read If more. you call in the next one hour to PBS, you can get a tote bag in the special documentary on the, the bay. Save the bay. Really? Christmas decorations. They should be taken down by January 15th, right? By some January 15th. <laughs> by some January 15th? <laughs> Doesn't matter I mean, which it, one. It just seems arbitrary is what I'm saying. Um... I mean, who cares if your Christmas tree is still up in February? As long, as you've, as, long as you've got Christmas in your heart. <laughs> Stay in school, I had kid. an issue Stay in, school. in my house. Yes? One year we had a Christmas tree. Only once? One, is there a reason it only happened once? Yeah, it was there in December. Yes. It was there in January. Yes. It was there in February. Yes. I think it was there in March. Yes. And possibly April. Yes. So I decided I had to put a foot down. Yes. And say no to the... To the tree ever again. To the tree ever again. You're like a, you're like a modern day Grinch. I'm very Grinchy. I've been accused of that before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. By me. You? I've accused you of being a Grinch. You're very Grinch-like. In what way? How do you say Well, that? I think your heart is like two sizes too small. <laughs> 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 because I, I took Betty Lou's gift. It was, I don't know, Betty Lou. The little... The, Betty Lou who? Who? Remember, all yeah. of their last names were who. Yeah. It was freaky. Like, I don't know, I don't know how the, the white pages would have worked there. And the mailman, we've got, like, all the mail be messed up. I, yeah. I imagine every day. Like, Mr. Who. And we have to say, like, Mr. Who on yeah. there. Yeah, then you're, then you're screwed. That would never work. That would never work. And, like, Doctor Who. I imagine more than Doctor Who. No, that's oh. trademarked. Trademarked. I'm being told that we should be wrapping up our show um, because we're out of time. Yeah. Hey, did you see Ellen the other day? No, Yesterday? no, oh, I man, didn't. Alan, she loves the nest. Uh, here's the thing, I that. I have a day job. Yeah, yeah, I oh, you, I can't be sitting around watching daytime television. You've got a DVR, so you could be uh, watching that. I mean, we're out of time. We can we can talk about creepy or hilarious. Creepy or quick, quick, go quick. Um, is it something you did? Yes, creepy. Okay. <laughs> um, do another one. Do another one. Is it something you did? <laughs> it's all something I did. Creepy. Um, stay tuned for Stranger Music. Stranger next. Music. It's good. And then it's quite what, a little creepy. And then What the Bleep. Hey, what that's Jim's show, What the that's Bleep. Jim show. Hey, Jim, am I on your show tonight? Yeah. I'm on the show tonight. Keep watching for What the Bleep. I'm on it. I'm, I'm hilarious. I'm not on. Is, is John <laughs> creepy on your show tonight, too, <laughs> Jeff? Um, our next show is January 9th. So come back in January and see us. 2014. It'll be a whole new year. A whole new year. January. Good job. Happy New Year. Film worked a lot better than the last taping. Eh? When was that edible skin? What? What century? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you had the Tesla like two weeks ago. So. Oh, that deer. That poor. <laughs> so. poor